Hello again flying friends and welcome back to Moorabbin Airport. It looks a bit hazy right now but that's going to clear. There's basically no wind, there's going to be no clouds over pretty much all of Victoria and it's such a waste not to go flying today. Now this is a flight I've wanted to do for quite a while. We're going to go from Moorabbin Airport south around Port Phillip Bay um, over the heads over to a place called Torquay and then we're going to turn down the coast, fly down to a point called Cape Otway and then fly up the coast towards Warrnambool and as we're flying along there we're going to hopefully get some great pictures out the side of the Great Ocean Road here in Australia. So the pre-flight's all done, uh, we've got full tanks, plenty of fuel on board to get ourselves to Warrnambool and back again. Let's go sightseeing! <laughs> It is a hot one today guys, I've just jumped on board, we're taxiing now down to our departure runway, 35 left here at Morabit. But yeah, it's 24 degrees already, so hence taking the jumper off. Tango Delta Sierra, Rabbit to our cliff at takeoff. Cliff takeoff, Tango Delta Sierra. Just trying to monitor the um, Torquay CTAP at the moment. It's quite busy. There's another Cessna that we're just overtaking at the moment. I think he's tracking in a similar direction. I'm just going to make an announcement to Torquay just so they know what we're doing. Torquay and Barman Heads traffic. Tango Delta Sierra Cirrus at 2500. We're approximately seven miles to the east of Torquay, overflying, then tracking south to Cape Otway, Torquay. And that just tells them where we are, what height we're at, and what we're planning to do once we get overhead talking. And it also tells, because I know the other guy up there is on the same frequency as us, it tells him, even though he's going to Barwon Heads, which is about... Barwon Heads traffic, Texan 45, 22, 1, 0 miles to the east. A different plane. 2,500 feet, tracking overhead to the west, Barwon Heads traffic. And so we're going to make our way down the coast now from Torquay to Cape Otway which is going to take us 24 minutes to get down there so we'll log our time once we get to Torquay we're supposed to be there in about 2 minutes time now and at that point that's when we're going to descend down to 1000 feet and hopefully get a good view of the 12 Apostles and if you guys that saw my um, video on recently I released on what is turbulence, I'll link to it up here. One of the forms of turbulence I was talking about was mechanical turbulence or mountain wave turbulence from the wind coming over the mountains. And if you get caught in that wind sometimes you can hit a bit of turbulence. Well there's hardly any wind today but there is some, there's now it's just gone up to about 14 knots and it is coming from our right and if you look out that right window you can see those hills and as the wind's coming over those hills and just like I say it's just kind of making a waveform on the downwind side we're in that waveform and every now and again you hit a little bit of turbulence. So if you haven't seen that video and you're interested in learning a little bit more about turbulence, check that one out. The beautiful thing about this Cirrus, I mean I, you guys know I'm in love with this aircraft, but the beautiful thing about this is I've got the autopilot set to maintain 1,000 feet, which is where we're at. And it means I can focus on looking outside the aircraft, making radio calls, and even though I'm monitoring my altitude, I'm not obsessed with it. Like, you know, it's, not, it's one less thing that I have to particularly worry about. Port Campbell and Peterborough traffic, Tango Delta Sierra is tracking westbound 1,000 feet, AB Port Reginald, Port Campbell traffic. I can see the 12 Apostles ahead, guys. seen the 12 apostles from ground level 
but I've never seen them from up in the air and certainly never seen them whilst I've been the pilot flying around them. Peterborough traffic, Tango Delta Sierra is overflying, uh, passing 1,200, climbing 1,500, tracking northwest to Warrnambool, Peterborough. Global traffic, Tango Delta Sierra on short final, runway 31, full stop, Warrnambool. Traffic Tango Delta Sierra clear of all runways, audible. Here we are, Warrnambool. We made it. It was actually a really easy flight, to be honest. I hope you enjoyed the scenery coming down here. Particularly enjoyed looking at the 12 apostles. I only counted 11. I think they sometimes fall over and stuff, but anyway, it was a pretty beautiful flight. Nothing but ocean and Antarctica to your left and nothing but awesome Australia to your right hand side. I really enjoyed that. But I really needed coffee, so let's go check out Warrnambool. I'll see if I can get a cab into town. Let's go take a look around. So I just had the um, cab drop me off by the Pavilion Cafe, it's called. And I thought I'd just take a bit of a look around, try and find a nice... It's climbing over the rocks here. Try and find a nice point to launch the drone off. This, this, may, this may not be relevant to you unless you're A, Australian, uh, B, you've got kids to down here. But this island here, this island was where they filmed the movie Oddball. Which was a really good movie actually, I really enjoyed it. It's a great Australian film. Very cute. Dogs, penguins. Great Australian actors, what more could you want? Anyway, this is not a film review channel. Take a look at this, guys. discovered by Europeans in the, it was the mid 1800s. Most places in Australia were discovered by the Europe, well discovered. White man inhabited this land from the 1850s, the Europeans did. And it grew quite a lot in the mid 1800s as well because of the gold rush. <coughs> Sorry, I think I just swallowed a fly. <coughs> Warrnambool has lots of flies. So I've just been learning a little bit more whilst I've been here about this island itself and that movie Oddball I was talking about before. Um, that's actually based on a, a true story. That's based on a trial that they did here at Warrnambool um, to use dogs basically to scare off predators, uh, like foxes mainly, to protect the fairy penguin habitats um, for all the penguins that are nesting here. So they did a trial in, I think it was 2006, they did a trial and they used two dogs to see if the dogs would actually fend off the foxes and protect the, the penguins. And the two dogs, one was called Missy and the other one was called Oddball. And that's what that movie, that Australian movie with Shane Jacobson called Oddball, that's what that was based on. So if you haven't seen the movie, definitely watch it because A, it's a really good movie, but B, now we know it's based on a true story. It's actually a really cool idea, using dogs to protect penguins. All right, now we're away from the rocks. Let's go and get a coffee. Piping hot scone, cream, jam, coffee. Full now. Those scones are really good, but it does lead me to the eternal question with scones. Jam first, 
cream first. I know it's got nothing to do with aviation, but tell me your thoughts in the comments below because I enjoy this discussion with members of my family very much. We often have different opinions. All right, that's it for me in Warrnambool. I'm gonna do the flight back in a separate video because I'm filing IFR back from Warrnambool to Moorabbin. So I'm gonna share with you some of the techniques flying back. Even though it's a short flight, it's only about 55 minutes, but we'll do it IFR instead of VFR so you can get an idea of some of the techniques that I use flying IFR. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tour of Warrnambool and the flight down here. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that content. It always means a lot to know you're enjoying the videos I'm putting on this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do, especially coming into 2000. 18 because there's a heap more flying and travel content coming up otherwise thank you as always for watching i really appreciate the support travel safe and i'll catch you again soon